Hello Lilas, welcome back to my channel. Guys, make sure that you subscribe to this channel by smashing that red subscribe button and giving this video a thumbs up. <laughs> make sure you click the bell to be a part of the notification squad. And if you guys want to join the channel box, please make sure you do so by clicking the link in the description bar. You do have to be at least 18 years old to join and it is $1.99 a month. So anyway, I am here again, of course. You guys are going to get flooded with videos of this little fella. Um, Mr. Nigel Poole, which is the Willow Awake. He is the prototype number three by Claire Teller. Um, and I am actually going to, I said I was going to stop doing this, but I don't know, mama hair just keeps getting all over him. But I said I was going to give him a bottle, so I brought him a bib for the first time I remember to bring him a bib. And I got a bottle that I'm going to make. And I'm going to show you guys how that works, I think. Did I leave it over? Did I, oh, wait. Oh, no. What did I do with the bottle? Oh, it's over here. Okay. So I bought a bottle of water and a bottle to mix his, his um, formula. Which is the bottles that Claire Teller sends with the dolls. And um, I just want to show you guys how it go. Um, oh my gosh, little boy. So, um, his texture is a little bit different than Noah's. It's actually a lot different than Noah's to me. Um, so, it, um, he attracts a little bit more fuzzies than, than Noah does, but I actually, um, like his texture. A little bit more than Noah's but I love I love Noah but I do love the texture on this one a little bit more um it's a little bit more I don't know it feels different it feels different and it looks different so um but yeah so this little fat boy <laughs> and he is guys he is the super soft silicone and that Claire Taylor pours all her kits and um, Lily and Brie fill kits in. Mm. And um, so he's not the um, memory thumb. <laughs> he's not the, 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 uh, the doll formula, but like it doesn't like bounce back like that, but it, um, it doesn't like rise slow and all that stuff. So he has a good amount of resistance to him. And um, so I let's talk about that for a second. Let me put his bib on, little boy. Um, I actually have had Equiflex 20 poured by different artists and I've had the soft poured by different artists. And every pour is different. And even if the formula is the same, I think, you know, because every batch of silicone may may vary a little bit slightly. Uh, for the most part, most pores are going to be pretty consistent. Um, when you're dealing with the prototypes and the artist proofs, the ones that are like first off the molds and stuff like that, um, the formula, the, the baby might feel a little bit different or something like that. Um, occasionally more so with more newer pours I believe um the older ones that's been pouring for a while they pretty much know what their formula is and they're pretty consistent so it doesn't really matter um quite as much but usually the point of a prototype or artist proof is usually when the artist is trying to fill out what exactly they're going to do a, a however, and they may tweak it just a little here or there or so, something like that sometimes. Um, so, like, for instance, when I got Bella, Bella was super soft, in my opinion, but then I realized that she was a little bit firmer than the rest of the other babies. Um, but she was still really soft. So, I actually, I guess, I like, like, all the different ones. I like Equiflex 20. I don't like anything firmer than Equiflex 20 unless it's a partial. If it's a partial, I can do Equiflex 30. 
but Equiflex 30 is the max and I truly truly love the soft soft silicone um I love the way it feels it gives them more of that cuddle factor you know they can you know more so ball up in your arms you know what I mean like it's not that stiff you know feel or whatever um but I I do like both um but I'm more so drawn to the soft now that is available but it just you know like I said it always depends on on the baby but the thing about it is the sculpting matters most when it comes to the super soft because anything soft is going to bend and you can always bend something out of whack or something like that when it's soft but if the sculpting is really nice um they tend to hold their pose a lot more than a baby that has like you know some of these dolls are not really sculpted sculpted as realistic so if the leg look like a noodle and it bends it's going to look just really really unrealistic versus one that really looks like a leg um it may look like it hurt if one of mine been out of place because of how realistic it's sculpted but usually it doesn't look like as bad because of the sculpting um but they pretty much hold their form um the other thing with the i noticed that a lot of people with the super soft does sometime and this is sculpting not so much of the silicone or or the pore anything they may do a very just a little stick neck it's not a sculpted neck it's just like a little stick neck or a very thin neck and of course if the baby got a big old head and it's on this little pole it's gonna wobble more and be more flimsy and i think a lot of people are trying to get the wobble but they don't think about that part or maybe they just don't know how to sculpt the neck part but if you look at the willows and claritella uh babies period um you can see the thickness in the neck is just like a real baby so it has so it's very much support um with the baby um so you know it's easy it's it's easier when you see the baby in person and you hold them in person because you know a lot of times we can see stuff and hear stuff and people will scare the hell out of you when you're trying to buy a doll by giving you all these you know scenarios and you know it's funny because a lot of them that give you these that have these opinions and stuff have never actually had one unless you know they had one and just never showed it or something like that maybe but um anyway I do I do just want my viewers to know that um I trust the soft silicone um I know it's a lot of difference of opinions but I think it's always going to be a matter of preference um if you're afraid of the soft silicone I think Equiflex 20 is still soft but not too soft um Okay, so I am taking off his, and I'm going to put some, this is just water, and so I'm going to pour, I don't like to fill mine up because I like it to look like they drink some of it, so I usually do about right there, and this is an old bottle, so I'm going to shake it up first and see if I want to add more. But usually that's that's about as much as I I do. I don't I don't usually do a full bottle. Um but I believe I can fill it up a little bit more. But this yeah, this is a really old one that I've had for a while with one of my private babies. But yeah, so that's that's how it go and you don't really see what the, the it's like a liquid or something or liquid in there when you get the bottle but it's not runny and so once you put the water in there it just turns to milk and that's the bottle that Claire sends I'm going to put a little bit of lubricant on his on the um baby bottle nipple and and when you see me keep wiping around the, the nipple, I actually am thinning it out because I don't want to put no big gob of um, KY on them. 
And then when you see me do this, I keep a little cloth on the side right here and I wipe that off <laughs> so that when I touch the baby, I don't do this. And the way she designed the nipple is so that you don't have to pinch the cheeks and you can give the baby the bottle without looking unnatural and having to pinch the the sides of the mouth and all that stuff which is you know we still might do it from time to time but you don't have to when you're using this bottle so um but yeah so i am you know i know it you know a lot of information goes out about these babies and stuff like that but you know you just have to do your own research trust your your own guts you know follow your own thoughts um don't let people make up your mind for you because you're the one that's gonna have to have your baby and you're the one that's gonna be holding it and um you gotta understand that sometimes some of these videos that are put out are not meant to help you but a lot of times there is other motives behind it sometimes they they may not like like certain artists or they may not like certain collectors and they may be saying things to discredit them or sabotage people's sales or whatever and so the intentions behind the video that seem so informational may not be truly factual or even um backed by their own experience but just you know being spiteful um in a cute way looking like a man i mean oops <laughs> girl the shade I'm just playing um but no um seriously though um yeah but you just have to um you just you just have to to do what you like you know um I know that there was a particular baby that was out um and you know Claire uh Claire teleport the doll for the the sculptor and um for Lillian Breville and um I believe it was the Merle and the Mace and their the um neck was sculpted pretty um pretty much more narrow than the average baby neck should be for that size which made some of them you know a little a little more floppy and I believe that um from what I've seen and heard and read is that the prototype was poured soft really really soft um as requested and um I've seen I've talked to other mommies that have the sculpt and they said that theirs wasn't as um I don't know um as didn't seem to be as jiggly as the other one or something like that I don't know you know it just be so many rumors and talk and gossip going out um but the thing is about these dolls is that a lot of times us as collectors we see like the frilly clothes the pretty clothes the baby look great in the photos and you know we get sold on that and then we get the baby and realize when we get it home that it's not sculpted as realistic as we want it to be or it may something may look funny on it or weird the head too small the the body too big you never know like the feet too the feet might be too big too small you know something like that that you didn't notice in the photos and when you get it home and and that makes a difference um especially when you're dealing with silicone um he don't want this he's playing with it because he's very nosy and when i'm talking he can't concentrate he can't concentrate and right now he's fascinated by this light over here so but yeah so you know and the thing about it is what people don't understand is that um i always say this sculpting really matters it's you know sculpting means a lot it really does um come on boy you you know if the sculpting isn't isn't good if the sculpting isn't good then guess what it don't matter how it's poor how soft it is how stiff it is it just not gonna not gonna do right um but you know it's good to hear you know everybody opinion on things and and he, you know hear what they have to say 
and stuff like that um when you're new when you're looking around but i feel sorry for a lot of the newbies that that come around and get bad information or you know information that really is not to help them it's more so done out of spite like when i come and i i, I share my opinions on things guys i share my opinions based off of my experiences or you know and if i tell you i will tell you like i've never experienced this but this is just my thought or something like that but here here here's the thing when i do it i try not to do it out of spite like i don't do it just because someone else just got a new kit and then all of a sudden you know everybody you know oh kits and art crap you know da 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 i don't do stuff like that because it's not helpful and when i first came in i lost a lot of money and in fact i actually had someone guiding me at first and they were basically like misleading me and having me buy from their friends so even though they knew the dolls wasn't all that it was to help their friend with a sale not to help me find the doll that I really wanted but I didn't know that at the time I found that out later and so I lost a lot of you know money playing around with that stuff um just in the very beginning and then you know that kind of I when I there was one particular incident that happened and I know I don't want to make this video too long and I, I realized that, oh my God, this person is working with this person, you know, and after that, I didn't, I didn't, that was it for me. I started doing my own research. I started, you know, just doing my own thing because at that point I, I realized I was just being used, just being used. So, um yeah I, I can't stress that enough guys just just be careful um but to each his own it's a lot of options out here it's a lot of people pouring silicone now it's a lot of you know nice silicone babies out here there's a lot of um it's it's a lot to choose from different price ranges different budgets so um i'll talk about that in the next video as well thanks for watching